There's always something there before there's a start. It's just like, how do you start? I don't want to know who I am, because I paint to try and, 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 and access them. And I still don't know. You know, I, you know, in general, you can answer if it's sort of like a psychological situation, but I don't know. I don't think there's anything as, 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 as subconsciousness. There's only consciousness, and there are levels of consciousness. And I think there are a lot of things going on. I'm an American, I'm black, I'm a painter. So all those things enter into what it is that becomes what I present. I will do the opposite of what it is I think someone is thinking, just to somehow or another not allow them to put me into a niche. I will scribble when I th they think that's all I can do, and then I will draw when they think that that's all I do. You know, and that to me is the way in which I create or I'm involved in, a, in an exciting process. I'm not doing it as the absence of something, but the presence of options to do what I want to do. And in that sense, they get done in that context. If we could speak it, we would not paint it. The work of art is the, the, the process, the visual process, the simultaneous process, less linear and therefore less successful when you have the additional person wanting to explain it, inclusive of the artist. I mean, the artifact or the, the, the thing that gets done, other than, than what you think you accomplished, is really not important. I, th I think it's, it's, it's sort of a, a fallacious to think that when you see something in the gallery that's finished, or when you see something hung, it's, it's complete. I mean, it's just where it is for some other reasons. And the, you know, that process is ongoing. And I think in the way that, that, that I work, uh, it's both by design and by default. I have other work that I sort of have around because I'm sort of wanting to, to, to continue it and know that the moment it gets out here, I can't get it back. I mean, I learned that very early. I mean, yeah. someone bought something and I wanted it back or I saw it or I've gone into a museum and they didn't know that I was changing it and they called the dealer and says, what does Ray Saunders look like? Because he's in here saying he's Ray Saunders and he's painting on this thing. <laughs> you know, he's changing it, you know. So. You don't paint the painting when you're standing in front of it. You don't make the art necessarily when you're standing in front of it. It's the before and after, the after image, all this stuff that contributes to your process. If you don't do that, then you don't make it happen, you know, and you don't have those things that sort of are uh, serendipitous, you know, and you can't make serendipity. Being an artist is about doing your work, and a lot of people have this romantic notion of the artist, you know, not only in times, the, it's, like, it's like being a great athlete and someone thinks that you just sort of like, it's natural, it's not natural, it's a result of dedication, it's a result of focus and a result of isolation, you know, unless you happen to be the other person that can be public. And I think people just don't realize that. They, they have these, you know, they have lust for life in mind, you know, they have the movies and they have romantic novels and so forth and so on. And when they really meet sometimes that other artist, they're totally blown away. Doing art, it's about either doing it brilliantly in a little bit or doing it brilliantly in a lot. But if it's brilliant, it's got to be done. You know, so let's 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 get it done.